Hello, uh, this is YouTube uh, channel One Hand Green, a YouTube channel of green transformation of Ukraine. My name is Dimitri, and today we have a great guest, uh, Daniel uh, uh, Zofu. Daniel Zofu, and uh, he represents a German organization called DBFZ Leipzig. This is uh, uh, Germany uh, uh, Bentain Research Center. And uh, we will be talking about B Metaverse uh, project. This is European project uh, financed by uh, Horizon Europe and uh, uh, includes several countries and many different organizations. And uh, DBFZ and Daniel represent one of these organizations within this project. Hello, Daniel. Hi, Dimitri, and thank you for inviting me to this interview. And so I am Daniel Sofu, and research scientist at the German Bauma Research Center, uh, DBFZ, I'm in Leipzig in Germany, and I'm yeah, really proud to be able to answer to your question in the couple of minutes, next couple of minutes. Great. Thank you so much for that, Daniel. Uh, so uh, talking about this project, BM Metaverse, financed by Europe, by uh, Horizon Europe, uh, how do you see the main goal of this project? Uh, why this project is so essential? Um, thanks for the question. So I will say that uh, the Bar Metaverse project uh, has a broad spectrum in terms of its goals and first and foremost it about demonstrating and connecting kind of different innovative ways of biogas production and this is to be achieved uh, by diversifying the technologies uh, basis uh, for biomethane production in Europe and increasing the cost efficiency of biogas as well as ensuring um, replicability and upscaling of the demonstrated biomethane production pathways as well as market penetration in, of the demonstrated technology and it's also important or what we are also aiming to is kind of policy recommendation at the end of the project. Great. Um, and what is uh, involvement of your organization? Could you tell more in detail uh, what uh, DBFZ Leipzig is doing in this project? What is your goal? Uh, and uh, perhaps whether you are doing something in terms of cooperation with Ukraine within this project? Um, yes, thank you for the question. So uh, we are part of um, this project and we are in the same work package with Ukraine. And this is kind of a tricky question for me to answer since I only joined the project a year ago. But I will say that um, the German Biomass Research Center is uh, one of the most specialized centers in the biogas sector in Germany. And uh, we have conducted uh, many studies and projects in the sector, which uh, make us so a reliable partner. And we also have quite some experience in overcoming um, issues in process monitoring and so on. And I think uh, that might be the reason why we were chosen to support uh, MHPA in Ukraine um, in the experimental campaign of this project, as well as um, in the design and installation of the pilot plan that is still ongoing uh, in Ukraine. Great. Um, and talking about Ukraine, uh, what is your perspective? Why do, you, why do you think Ukraine is the part of this European, pan-European project? Why Ukraine is important for that? Um, I really do believe uh, that Ukraine um, has a great energy potential um, that has not yet uh, been explored and uh, since uh, over 12% of the country's economy depends on agriculture, it can be assumed that um, a considerable amount of biomass is produced every year and which if converted uh, into biogas could significantly support Ukraine's energy sector. <coughs> And I think that um, even if Ukraine's livestock sector is relatively small compared to other EU uh, European um, countries, the biomass release um, from crops such as wheat and corn, sunflower could provide enough um, feedstock uh, for the biomass sector in Ukraine. Um, so from my point of view, um, there are several reasons why Ukraine is part of the biometaverse project and that at the end uh, will not only be beneficial for Ukraine or Europe but also um, for the rest of the world. Great. 
Uh, and uh, going from Ukraine back to Germany, uh, what is the perspective of BMTN production in Germany and uh, in all, um, let's say, European Union? Uh, how do you see it? What researchers and scientists are telling about this? Um, related to biogas production uh, in Germany, I would say today Germany is uh, the European country with the highest energy production from biomass and based on the forecast uh, for 2030, um, it's estimated that Germany will produce around 8 billion cubic meters of biogas per year, which alone will account for around 23% of the projected biogas um, um, production in the EU uh, by, that, uh, by that time, and estimated at around 35 billion cubic meters and to reach a net zero emission by 2050, a production of at least 151 billion cubic meter will be needed in European uh, Union um, to compensate this about 155 billion cubic meter that um, was still imported by 2022 from Russia. So therefore, I believe that uh, we still have a long way to go, but we are definitely well on the way to achieving this goal in Germany and other countries. Great, uh, it's a wonderful perspective. Uh, and uh, uh, getting there, of course, uh, as far as I understand, the BMW Metaverse project is uh, aimed to make sure that actually this perspective will be achieved uh, in some near future. So coming back to this BMW Metaverse project, uh, this is the project, as far as I understand, for about five years, and you're already somewhere in the equator of this project, so it's in the middle of the project. Uh, it's already two and a half years past, uh, and you still have about two and a half years ahead. So what do you think the main results of the project so far until now, and uh, what do you want to achieve within the project for the next two and a half years? Uh, thank you for the question again. And what I can see here is that um, the first part of the project uh, was quite challenging as the new system used um, was designed and built and therefore quite some changes were made in the startup phase uh, to get everything up and running and which also led to some delays. But anyway, we were able to stabilize um, the AD process and start injecting already hydrogen since we are working in uh, in situ biological methanation. Um, so we have started this process already a couple of months ago. And the data we have um, so far look quite uh, good, I will say. We are already observing increase in biomethane in the biogas. And our goal at the end is to achieve at least or to upgrade the biogas, the biomethane in the biogas up to 85% uh, using a gas recirculating system, which might sound kind of quite ambitious. But I also hope uh, that um, we'll get quite some interesting results based on the data we are recording so far that award at the end publishing for the scientific community. Uh, well, uh, ambitious, but I think that's something about uh, your organization, about your partners within the project of BM Metaverse. And I think uh, Europe has quite ambitious plan, uh, which is good for Europe, for the future ecology and for future economic perspectives as well. Exactly. And, uh, you know, all European consumers, including German and Ukrainian. Um, uh, Daniel, thank you so much. It's, it's quite an interesting uh, story which you're telling us uh, during this interview. And we're kind of finalizing it. So perhaps uh, uh, you think that you would like to uh, add something else, perhaps with some final remarks from your side. Please, the floor is yours. Um, thank you very much. So what I will maybe add uh, to this uh, interview is that I really think that the goal you also uh, said uh, that the goal of the European Union are quite ambitious since we are now still about 20 um, billion cubic meter of bio 
methane or biogas that is still produced in Europe. And the goal in 10 years is to get to 35 um, percent and 35 um, cubic, uh, billion cubic meters in, in 2050 to 151. I think that is quite ambitious, as you also mentioned. But I really do believe that is achievable. And I think the best way to do it will be to explore all um, biogas technologies, not only in situ biological methanation I'm working uh, or we are working uh, on here in at the DBF set, but also others like um, gasification, ex situ biological methanation, and that could also be compensated by other uh, renewable energy sources like solar energy and so on. And from my perspective, the better way or the easiest way to um, improve the Institute Biological Methanation I'm working on now will be achievable by bio augmentation. That means um, to really um, focus on the uh, microbial community in anaerobic digestion reactors and try to um, expand or to increase uh, their community so that they can really faster convert. Uh, carbon dioxide with hydrogen into methane. And that is what I could maybe um, have a perspective for the future in this project. Wonderful. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, thank you for your interview. Uh, I would like to remind that today we uh, had spoken with uh, Daniel Zafu. Uh, he represents DBFZ Lab Tech Organization. This is a German uh, research center for biomethane. And uh, we've been talking about the perspectives of Europe with biomethane production, uh, uh, which is uh, progressed within the project of Biometaversa. Uh, Daniel, thank you very much. And I hope, you know, it's a good beginning for the future, several interviews in the future in a row. Thank you very much, Dimitri, for the invitation and this invitation to present the BFZ and also the project uh, we are working on. And I really cross fingers that we reach our goal soon to improve the uh, methane production, not only in Ukraine, in Europe, but also in the rest of the world. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Daniel. And of course, I also wish you particularly a success within the project and the future perspectives of methane production. Uh, in Germany, in Ukraine, and in all Europe. Thank you.